Messenger bots are an excellent way to engage customers and capture them as a subscriber for both your chatbot and your email list while they're in your place of business. For companies like coffee shops and restaurants who have a Wi-Fi password that customers want access to, a messenger bot can make the process a win-win for everyone involved. Patrons will find obtaining the Wi-Fi password easy, while business owners will appreciate the fact that messenger bots save their employees time from not having to stop and give it out. But even more exciting is that they can capture customers' data so the business can follow up with that customer via the bot or email in the future. This will help encourage repeat business and build a loyal patronage. Because as they say, the fortune's in the follow-up. The first step for creating a Wi-Fi delivery bot is to decide what type of content we want to capture from our customers. In this example, we will ask patrons for their email addresses in exchange for the password. The first step is to go into your ManyChat settings and create a bot field to save the Wi-Fi password. This makes it easy to swap out the password whenever it is changed. This way, you do not have to go on a scavenger hunt to update that password in any flows that you're going to utilize it. Let's head over into our settings in the left side navigation menu. And when you get into settings, go up to where it says custom fields. This is where all your custom fields and bot fields are stored. And you can come here to create new bot fields and new custom fields. In the case of our Wi-Fi password, we went in and created a new bot field, which you can see right here. Now to create your own, just click on new bot field, name your bot field, make it text, enter the value, which would be your actual password, and click create. If at any time you'd like to change your password, just click here and change it. And there you go. Now, everywhere you've used this bot field, the password will be changed. This will make a lot more sense as we build out our flow. So let's head on over to flows on the left side menu. Now, for the sake of saving you time today, I went ahead and created a flow that we can use where I can quickly show you how to set this all up. This is the flow that you would want to build when it comes to your messenger bot delivering a Wi-Fi password. When you are building out your Wi-Fi bot for yourself or a client, you may also want to give customers other options in this first message outside of just giving them access to the Wi-Fi. Things that could be of interest to patrons include a menu, store hours, special events, feedback, and even the store's background story. But for the purpose of this video, we will just focus on the Wi-Fi part of the flow. Let's jump back into ManyChat and build this bad boy out. So once you go into editing mode, you can add an image, which is super easy. We just click this image box. We can drag it up or down or wherever we want it. And in order to add the image, we can click here to import the image or we can drag and drop. If we want to remove a block, we just click the X. So you see here I uploaded my icon and then we added a welcome message of sorts. So it just says, hi there, first name. Hope you're enjoying your first visit to Hot Beans Coffee Shop. Ready to snag that Wi-Fi password? So we want to make sure that we're personalizing that experience, which is really easy. And all we have to do is click this little bracket and include their first name. You can also include emojis, and make it fun. Now we added a button here and I named the button Wi-Fi. The next step I created a condition. This is absolutely not required, but it adds a little bit more personalization when you add these conditions to track when someone has already given you their email address. So here in the condition, I actually am checking for a tag that I give them later on after they give me their email address. If they did already give me an email address, they've been tagged, it will say yes, and it'll send this message. Welcome back, first name. Is this still a good email for you? And I'm able to put in their saved email address from the custom fields. And all you do to do that is go to the brackets and select the custom field. So in this case, it's their email address. I would just look for the email address custom field. And then they could say yes or no. Now, if it shows that they have not given me their email before we go down here, and give them this message. 
Cool, to get access to the Wi-Fi, we just need your email address. Please click your email below or type an alternate you prefer. Now remember that Facebook will take the email address associated with their account and it will populate it right here. And all the end user has to do is tap or click on that email. Now when you're setting these up, this is all in a user input. Now user input is a pro feature and it's probably one of the most important pro features within ManyChat. So if you want to use a user input, you would just click here, user input. Now once you put in message that you want, you want to pick your reply type. In this case, we are asking for their email address, so our reply type is email. You can also ask for text, you could do multiple choice, you could do phone numbers, whatever it is that you're looking for from your end user. In this case, we are looking for their email address, so I went with that. And the nice thing about this too is that Facebook is going to make sure that it is in the proper format so that you get a good email address. Now you are going to want to save that email address in a custom field. To be clear, since we are talking about both custom fields and bot fields in this blueprint, it's important to note that custom fields follow the specific end user around, while a bot field is for the bot as a whole. So in this case, we want to save this specific user's data of their email address. So we're going to use a custom field and I've labeled mine email address. And then I create an action and in that action, I have tagged them. Keep it in mind that this is the same tag that I'm checking in my condition. And I just named my tag Wi-Fi underscore given. Now back to our condition. So they've come in, they've clicked on, they want the Wi-Fi button. The condition is checking, have they given us their email address before? And if again, they say yes, we come through here and we say, is this still a good email address? If they say yes, we're gonna send them over to this box, which is gonna say, thank you, first name. The password for the Wi-Fi is Wi-Fi underscore password. What you see here is that bot field, and this is really easy to input. All you have to do is click on the little brackets here, go all the way down to your bot fields, which are at the bottom, and click on your Wi-Fi password bot field. This is why you wanna save this as a bot field, because if you put this anywhere else and you just wanna quickly change out your password, which is very common to do, then this will update automatically. Now, if we go back here, they say that they would like to update their email address, the email address on file is not correct, then it's just gonna take them down here to a user input, which again, just tells them to confirm their email or type in an alternate. Again, the reply type will be email, and we will save the response in the same place, which will overwrite any existing email address. We'll save it to email address. And then we have an automatic continue, which is basically just hitting this little checkbox here, continue to another step, and it takes them right up here where we deliver that password. When you're all set, Click Publish. Now I'm gonna show you how this looks inside of Messenger for your end user.